I didn't sleep well last night. I woke up with a scratchy throat. And I just don't feel so good. Uh, cough? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of an upset stomach, too, and I think I'm running a fever. I'm just worried I might be contagious. <coughs> Inventory. Tomorrow, I, you know, I'm sure I'll be feeling better by then. Thanks, Mr. Anabi. I cannot believe you just did that. I, I really do have a cough. Oh, so you weren't lying. You'd be curled up in bed with a bowl of chicken soup. Mm, even if you didn't have a horny girl in your bed. Yes, <laughs> because I really do. Hey, I really do have a cough. You also have a little rash. <laughs> um, mm, I, I'm not sure we should be kissing. Oh, it's okay. Because I have almost no interest in kissing you. I'm good, but come on. Brandon. Brandon. This guy. Blood pressure's not responding to IV fluids. No, no, no. I didn't ask how you plan to con me into treating him. I asked you why you want me to treat him. He's sick. I care. I'm pathetic. There are about a billion sick people on the planet. Why this one? Because this one's in our emergency room. Ah, so it's a proximity issue. If somebody was sick in the third floor stairwell, that's who we'd be talking about. Yes, I checked the stairwell. It's clear. Okay, then. Emergency room guy it is. Wait. How is that so easy? You know why. Blood pressure's not responding to IV fluids? Yeah. That's just weird. <coughs> you right? <coughs> of course, then tests will tell us if your pituitary and adrenal glands are working properly. With glands, what does that mean? We have a few theories we're working on. You mean you don't know? Mindy. I'm just saying, if they knew, they wouldn't be testing you. They'd be treating you. Yeah, well, that's the way it works. First you find out what it is, then we get you better. My uncle has hypothyroidism. Not like this. Intravenous levothyroxine is an artificial thyroid medication that should take care of it. Also, the nurses are going to start you on unison. It's a more targeted antibiotic. For the sinus infection? Yes. And the other stuff is for something else entirely? Bad luck, huh? Don't worry. He should be back to ditching work in no time. Brandon? Hey, <coughs> Where's parents? How's he doing? Um, Brandon uh, is... Mom, Dad. <clears throat> it's Mindy. I was gonna bring her home for Christmas, so... We're engaged. Can you walk, Brandon? Yeah, a little. Okay, because we'll, we'll need to leave the chair outside. Thank you. There's April. April! 
Can you take the chair, please? Thank you. I'll need to take your um your mask and your robe too. Lock your ears for this, it's, it's quite loud. Something's made him immunocompromised. His white blood cell count is down, which means his body can't fight off infections. If he gets sick, he'll die. Sick? How sick? If he gets a cold, he'll die. Push the needle into your hip bone and take some of them out. That's not so bad. Uh -huh. That was just the anesthetic. The core biopsy needle. It's a bit bigger. Hey man, take a deep breath. This this is gonna hurt a lot. marrow makes the blood cells. We take a peek at it under a microscope. Maybe we find a viral infection. Maybe we find some fibrosis. Something to explain why your blood count is so low. And uh, step closer to an answer. What if you don't find one? I can't stay here forever. Okay, Brandon. We're running this tube through your heart and into the pulmonary arteries in your lungs. Sensors will give us information we need for the exploratory surgery later this afternoon. My fingers are numb. Try not to move. We're in the right atrium. Trying to catch the flow through the tricuspid valve. I think the catheter is curling in the atrium. Got it. We're in the RV now. Ectopy, you must have irritated the heart wall. It'll calm down. He can't tolerate any cardiac arrhythmia. Pull back. He needs the surgery. Dropped. You still with us, Brandon? Get the curtains. Via. Yeah. <laughs> Charging. Clear. <sighs> Sinus rhythm. I got a pulse. Yeah, but no surgery today. 